And thank you very much with your listeners as well this morning and a wonderful day in Cape Town. Well, I mean, you know, today really is about the people. And I mean, that's what the National Council of Provinces is all about. It's about the people. What should we expect from today when it comes to, to addressing the needs of South Africans? Well, uh, you are aware that uh, it's not very easy that people can predict what the president is going to say. Uh, but all what we uh, know is that the president of the country today will be speaking with the nation on issues that affects them directly, particularly putting up the program forward. Uh, uh, like this year, it's 19, uh, 2014, is the election. Uh, we hope that the president will be rapping and say what has been happening in the five years, bearing in mind that the National Council of Provinces plays an oversight role function over government and we'll be also be seeing that those things that we've been doing uh, together with the provinces and other people that we've got interest in as we have got we are a house that have could take the interest of the provinces at heart will come out in the state of the nation address. Yeah. Well, I mean that's the, that's the the real job of the the NCOP is taking parliament to the people. How effective has it been? Leanne, this program has been very effective. It's, it's, it's amazing. When we started, it, it was 2002. It started very slowly uh, because people did not understand uh, what the National Council of Provinces is. But in the following years, we've built up on this program. It's, it's an outreach program that brings the three spheres of government together. No any house in the world does that. In other words, in this outreach program, we get the national ministers to go and account to the public. We get the provincial MECs to account to the public. We've got the councillors to account to the public. All the leadership is there under one roof, and uh, people are able to ask questions. People are able to say what is it that they think should be done, what is it that is not done, and what is it that needs to be addressed in the future. And that information then is kept up in our ANSAT, and a report is put most of the time when our committees in the National Council of Provinces are doing their follow-ups, and even all members of parliament can get a copy of the report when they go to their constituency and make sure that they follow up on those issues that have been raised by the people and make sure that implementation of those matters takes place. What would you say have been some of the highlights for you over the, over the period that you've been serving? Could you repeat that question? Some of the highlights for you over this period that you've been serving. Well, some of the highlights that I can say is that uh, we have taken very, very, very great part in the legislative process, which is a core mandate, a constitutional core mandate, uh, because we have to do what we call public participation. When we do that, again, go down uh, to the provinces, brief the province on the piece of legislation, and they will hold the public hearings. And we have the right, by the way, provinces have got a right to propose amendments to the piece of legislation, and that piece of leg those amendments should then be listened at and be included in the piece of legislation that we have. The other side, which has been very strong, the highlight, that was that one of the oversight, making sure that when we come back from the provinces, we make sure that these things happen again. Um, Deputy Chair, there's, there's someone behind you. What's behind you? <laughs> <laughs> what are you I'm sorry, doing? Just the insisted to come say hi what to are you doing friend. here? Well, hello, Leanne. How's it going? This is a serious program, you know. I can see that. I can, uh, you've got the National no. Council of Provinces here. Look who we've got here with us. Is he still employed here? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, I warned you about this guy. I told you he was here. <laughs> I know. And I thought that I thought in around him. He's a politician. <laughs> you can't say that. How are you doing? You look like you've lost a bit of weight. I had, I, they're starving me. I'm in Cape Town. Black people don't eat you. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go outside. Yeah, Isn't that true? Yeah. Just you can't say that. You must be starving. You are. You're starving. You're looking. And I made a latex, so you know. Yeah. I'll fit in at the SABC. I don't eat. Oh no, shame. No, listen to yeah. me nicely. Now, what's happening? What are you doing here today? Well, I'm here to see what happens. Mr. Mr. Nathlangu is here to see what happens with the uh, state of the nation, of course. And our politicians take yeah. all our tax money and buy the worst fashion items known to man. <laughs> Okay. So you had a like a bunch of tablecloths. That's what I'm looking forward to tonight. You here for the you here for the for the for the fashion? Yeah, for the state of the nation. And to see a Jacob Zuma uh, thinks like an African in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! I love you. Yeah. I love you too. Can I get a kiss? Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh.
Mm. I love this guy. I love it. <laughs> Have a good day. Oh, you see, I warned you. I warned you. All right, we gotta go. We gotta go. Thank you for Thank being you. a sport. Thank you so much for for being with us. Thank you for watching, everybody. Um, have a fantastic day. We'll be with you again tomorrow morning. It is the TNA.